What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here. I'd like to welcome you guys back to LA Noir 2017 edition. Moving on to the very next case now. In traffic, let's do it. Okay, we're gonna keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. DR is one Oswald Jacobs, says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good, get going. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is the second case, but actually, go wear in our pathetic normally it would have skipped somewhere else. Rimsky, because this is a DLC. Has information on a so this was one of the DLC uh, missions. An abandoned vehicle. It's actually one of the newer ones. Else. Anyway, Sounds let's get like on down. Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody dumps a shiny new Packard unless they borrowed it without asking. Hold on, I'm going to go see something. I think we, have, we can change up our suits. Very funny. <laughs> Come on, my intense protege. Let's go save the world. Ah, I feel stupid. Okay. The Sword of Justice, City of Angels is much more dangerous by night. Actually, now that I think about it. Wait, what? Shoot straighter with the Garand and the Colt 4-5. Hit harder and take more punches before going down. So really, um... These things are a little bit different. They give you abilities. I'm, I'm not sure about something just yet. Anyway, we'll leave. We'll head on out to the abandoned Packard. Is this our whip? Yes, it is. We can take a standard car if we wanted. I need to go over the case notes. Did you hear about Adrian? Brought in Seattle, threw him out. Wife says she's going to take him back. Women generally show more compassion. What are you talking about? Adrian dumped on her. He was humping the secretary. Margaret should show some pride. Pride comes before a fall, Bukowski. Talking from experience. If you paid attention to what he just said there, comes up later on. Phelps, traffic. I'm Officer Houlihan. Cars down the alleyway, detectives. We got a call about an abandoned vehicle? Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacobs bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch anyway. All right, let's take a look at the Packard. Nice looking car. The flags. One's missing. It's an Argentinian I must have taken diplomatic the flag vehicle. As a souvenir. Can't have any street value. Okay. Plates removed. We'll have to use the registration to trace the owner. There's your registration. It's owned by the Argentinian Embassy. I think we actually have to go to the dealer as well. Empty. It's missing one wheel move over there we go it's up on bricks here that's so bad for the brake stealing the wheels is for amateurs the car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse okay i think there's something kind of about Here we go. Probably nothing. Are you sure? Why you do that? 
Aha, I see some. Oh, wait. What is this? It's a base. Wait. Actually, let's check the baseball just in case. I don't think it is anything. It doesn't appear to be no. connected. Okay, I'm sorry. Just in case. All right, right over here, though, we have a little something. We got a wrench here. Combination wrench. Must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. Came from Dewey Bros. I don't know why they'd leave that. All right, that's all the information. Now, let's go talk to this guy over here. Oswald Jacobs? That's right. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyways, last night I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. All right, let's get his witness report. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> He's telling the truth, though. He said that firmly. He meant it. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. He's racist, though. Or he's, he's a bigot. That's a better word to put it. All right, uh, Hispanic suspects. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared him off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. That is so suspicious, dude. Like, look at him. He's just like, eh. <laughs> he's, he's like, it's like he smells something a bit bad, but he's, it's like he farted. And he's just kind of waiting for somebody to notice. He's trying to hold back a smile. You know what I mean? He's, he's, it's that one look. That guys get when they do it quietly and he's just like, oh, you wait. Just you wait. <laughs> you went out to the car. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Ain't a law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. Fair enough. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. Truth there. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red paint job stands out a mile. I think it was like a 32 or something like that. Or no, it was like a 28. It was like a 28 Ford Coupe. It was absolutely beautiful. I remember it. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. I don't know, man. He already looks shifty as hell. See, he's doing that damn face again. Right. So what did you take, Jacobs? Do you want my partner to pat you down? I found a notebook in the glove compartment. I was going to show you. It's on the chair on my porch. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Tabo about signing a formal statement. When you get the car out of the way, maybe you could come back and do something about those kids. How about we bring you an umpire's mask? <laughs> Savage. All right, let's grab the thing off the desk. 1947 agenda. Juan Francisco Valdez. A.K.A. the consult. Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle. A degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R&I. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Look at the names. John Madsen. There's his telephone number. Henry Grove, nice eyelashes. Stanley Mercer, lovely speaking voice. Walter, good-natured. Ben Brown, gentle boy. Ted Hopper, full lips. <laughs> like, you could tell this dude was after the young man. Dark good looks. Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. 
All right. So what we need to do then, I think we got everything we need. I think yes. we've run this place dry. Let's find a game well. All right, yeah, we're gonna call this, use this cop phone, get some intel, where we need to go from there. Everything we can find. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, detective? Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Connecting you now. Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. Wrong person, Mrs. Matson. Sorry to disturb you. Messages for me, please. There's just one message for you, Detective. A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. <laughs> Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thank you. All right, so the next objective, we are going to go back to the police station and we're going to go interview Mr. Valdez. Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, detective. We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs and I'll read your report back at the station. We can go to the dealer now, but we're going to skip it. We're going to go to the police station again. Get, try and get more intel before going out from Valdez. What the hell's he doing? You moron. <laughs> like, we have business that he was finishing his cigarette. <laughs> I swear that's what he was doing. Can you doing. go out to this one? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Make me look like an idiot. This has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we've got this year. One more and I'm going to go crazy. Not your favorite cases? You kidding me? This is barely even police work. Of all the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. Do we have a Juan Francisco Valdez in for questioning? Sure do, Phelps. Your bird's an interview, too. And get this, he's wearing gloves and doing his best not to touch anything. Can you beat that? <laughs> Sounds like we don't want to keep this guy waiting. It's this way. All right, let's go do yet another interview. I really like these things. Whoops, that's the, no, no, I'm sorry. Wrong way. That's it. I don't know, sorry. I just wanted a breath of fresh air. He's in two, right? Yes. About time. Are you the senior officer I requested? I'm Detective Phelps, and this is Detective Pekowski. Have you any idea how long I've been waiting to speak with you? I am needed back at the consulate, and you keep me here like a common criminal. All right, friend. Let's take a deep breath and start all over again. Mr. Valdez, Counsel General. I insist on my full title. He's one of those. Anyway. Packard purchase history. Where did you purchase the car? My secretary and driver arranged the purchase. A disreputable place, a Dewey Brothers by name. As soon as I can have it arranged, I will have my Hispano Suiza brought up from Buenos Aires. Yeah, it's not that simple, my man. Like, look at that, look at that pervy look he's got going on. I bought a Packard, Valez. A snob like you doesn't drive an American car. I want answers or I'll smack you around the teeth. William Dewey offered me a substantial bribe to make a purchase at his establishment. It is not unusual to make this kind of transaction in the civil service. Well, tell that to the Argentine taxpayers. Yeah, no kidding, hey? Consul General, we have located your car. Can you tell us how it was stolen? 
It must have been stolen from the council garage. Terribly inconvenient, of course. I want the perpetrator soundly flogged. Unfortunately, we don't do that here, your worship. See, he, he's, he's not as innocent as he's claiming. Like, look at the suspicious looks he's giving me. You have a pretty good idea who stole the car, don't you, Consul General? Are you going to tell me, or do I shake it out of you? There's no call for violence. I suspect a disgruntled boy from the car dealership. You have a name for this kid? Gabriel, like the Archangel. I have no surname. All right, association with Gabriel. So tell us about this kid, Gabriel. You had a run-in with him? Mecanico. A presumptuous young man who did not know his place. He presumed to ask me questions. We do a lot of presuming here in the United States, Consul General. It comes with the turf. See, he has more information than he's letting on. He's lying because he has that book with Gabriel's name in it. You fuck young boys, Valdez. <laughs> Are you a madman? <laughs> this will cause an international incident. That's the best counter ever. You fuck young boys, buddy. Where was it? Uh, the notebook. Danny, Ben, Miguel, Tristan, and Teddy. Full lips. Ring any bells? I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. Gabriel, spill it. A beautiful but impertinent boy. I mentioned rendezvous and the young man went quite insane. I thought he was going to kill me. I was prepared to pay. We'll be in touch, Consul General. Sick bastard, dude. He does just that. He does... There's a level six. He fucks young boys. Anyway, we're done here. We got to go to the Dewey Bros uh, dealership and find some Finished intel with there. Thank God. I'll get rid of them in a couple of hours. All right. Anyway, onwards. You know the way. You can drive. All right. Where to? Come on, man. Hurry up. Mr. Valdez moves in some peculiar circles for an international bon vivant. Ah, English, please. See, this is why nobody invites you out for drinks. It's just very industrious of him to be so involved in matters of consular transportation. All right, you're making it worse now. I think what you're trying to say is that lover boy in there is as full of crap as a Christmas goose. That as well. <laughs> Tell me, let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four door, and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, detective, but I know how we can find out. Follow me. He is awfully friendly, and I, I recognize this guy because they use real actors and use the face masking and all that, you know, stuff. It was pretty advanced for the time. I know 2011 doesn't seem that long ago, but in the video game world, that was huge leaps and strides. We keep all our tools in here. All right. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. We don't even need... You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Huh? Maybe a used car. That's a three quarter. I have some nice it? used cars for guys in your wage bracket. And then Paul. Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey. The one we'll inch. Some cars or whatever it is that you do. Here. All right, the half. Where is it? No, hold on. Is it is it targeting the half? Yes. See, we already know Gabriel like stole it. Okay, this is the smaller. There you go. One left. Yes, and that's the 11 sixteenths. Leaving the three-quarter wrench. Gabriel Delgado is missing a three-quarter. Well, there we go. 
Alright, there's something else as well. No good. We need diplomatic plates. Alright, well that's that. Let's go have a word with Buddy. Where are you going? If you don't mind, we have a few questions. All right, association with Valdez. Packards are great cars, but this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. How do you know Valdez? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. Sure, fam. What about the bribery? And I know a shyster when I see one. You and Valdez are in this together. Me and Valdez? I hardly know him. Valdez wouldn't wipe his shoes with me. Yeah, but the bribery, dude. There it is. We've talked to Valdez. He was very obliging. He told us all about the arrangement the two of you had, and now quit wasting our time. Okay. So I met Valdez in a bar. We cut a deal, and he bought the car through the embassy. I cut him some change on the side. It happens all the time. Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. He sure as hell isn't here. You should know where your employees are from, dude. Address, Dewey. Or my partner shoves her head in a car door. Okay, all right. Apartment 3, 103 Hill Street. And tell him from me. If he ever shows his face around here again, I'm going to kick his butt from here to kingdom come. All right, one more to go. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. I don't think... I think you know more about it, dude. What are you hiding, Dewey? Spill it! You don't want the LAPD getting too interested in this place. So I hire a few illegals. It's cheaper than hiring returning GIs, and they have less attitude. Downside is, they're a little light-fingered. Thank you for your help, Mr. Dewey. No problem. God damn that kid. I'm just an honest car salesman. Ha. Seems like you just don't know who you can trust these days. Going to movies, Dewey. You're missing your calling. Time to visit Gabriel Delgado. It's a good See actor. Good excuses. All right, so let's head to the car. Now that we have G Gabriel's I, uh, sorry, address. You You're behind the there. wheel. Fine. Where are we headed? You read the story in the Examiner about the Navy developing three-dimensional movies? What's a dimension? You know, like a graph. Vertical axis is Y and horizontal is X. Well, that's clear as mud. Third dimension would be Z. So things would be popping out of the screen. That's ridiculous. Scare people out of the theater. God's name would want that. I don't know. People scoffed at the idea of talkies and color, and look what we have now. All right, here's the Delgado residence. Gonna knock, knock, knock. Okay, let's see what Gabriel has to say for himself. If he's in. Oh, Archangel hasn't already flown. What the hell is this guy doing? All right, where's the apartment? Is it, well, what's that? Yep. Here he is, apartment three. What a crappy place for mail. Uh, where do you see a number three marked on that door? I don't know. Just wanted to bug people. <laughs> Here we go. He's being a smart ass. <laughs> yes. Yeah. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Yes, I understand. Could you come inside? What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here? 
Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Miss Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. <laughs> He's savage. All right, let's do some looking. There's a few goodies here. So how far along? There's the flag you? right there that he broke off. Nearly 20 weeks. Right. So how's it going to be? Souvenirs are a dumb move. I'll say. Around. You are wrong about Gabriel. I don't know if the Bible was anything. He will be a good father. Circumstantial. Already he works hard yeah. to provide for us. Unless you help us here, Anna, your little one won't be seeing Papa for a very long time. The picture, right? There's his Ford right there. Difficult to tell whether it's the suspect vehicle from the scene. Huh. Certainly Gabriel's pride and joy. All right, the kitchen. The breakfast for twos. Serving breakfast for two, Anna? You should have cleared up. All right, there's more to it. I think he ran out the back door or something. All right, let's try head outside. Because I remember there's, a, there's like a shed in the backyard. Maybe he isn't here right now. I can't remember. I remember there's a big car chase, though. Here we are. There's the wheels right there. He stole the it spare like too. Valdez gets his wheel back. All right. Isn't there like a box of plates? That's not helpful. Yeah, like right here. There's the diplomatic plates right there. Diplomatic license. That's all of them. All right, let's head back and have a word with her. You're in serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. Mm-hmm. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? That's stupid. But... His honor, Anna? He said Dewey's friend tried to make a woman out of him. He no longer respects this man, Dewey. He took the car to show this maricon that he is a man. That doesn't do anything. It just makes him look like an idiot. Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. That's such BS. What about the breakfast plates? You keep lying to me, and I'll send you and your baby to jail. That's savage. He lives here, but he hasn't come home. I swear it. Actually, we could do the Argentinian flag. But we'll go with the breakfast plates, I think. Enough, Anna. There are signs all over this place that he's been back. Oh, I see. It could have worked either way. He was here last night. I have never seen him so angry. He went out to his shed and put some things in it. I don't know what and I don't want to know. I love him. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts, and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. Then tell us where he is. If your baby is born in prison, Anna, the corrections officers will take it from you. You will see your son or daughter through a metal grate for half an hour a week. The start line is on First and Santa Fe. There is a spillway under the bridge that leads to the river. Many policia have wrecked trying to follow him. We will put in a good word for you, Anna. As far as we're concerned, this sits with Gabriel. Start line. 
That sounds like a street race to me. It's gotten out of hand this last year. No wonder Delgado has such an eye for fine automobiles. All right, then. Well, let's get over to that race. It is. Let's go stop these clowns and get them off the streets. I remember this one. You have to chase them down. So where do you want to go? What do you think? The street race. Let's go. What kind of man leaves his pregnant girlfriend at home while he goes off to play cars? Pregnant girlfriends aren't always a barrel of laughs. Everyone needs to let off a little steam. Some guys wouldn't come back home at all. Are you talking from experience? Here it is. There's the There's Ford. The red Ford. That's Delgado right there. 6 p.m. Quick, go. we're getting away. Felt I'm on him. 1247. Requesting assistance at first at Santa Fe. Reports of an illegal street race. Stay on Delgado. Get away. Damn it, you. stop. We're gonna lose him. No, we're not. Quick as we shut one of these races down, another one springs up somewhere else. Kids used to steal Get to the spillway. Sell. Now they just want to wrap them around a lamp. Whoa! The next 16 year old I have to steal off the sidewalk, you're called. I've had enough of those to last me a lifetime. Delgado is our boy, forget the others. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. Hang on, we're on him. Step on it, Bell. Take him out. Ah, I'm losing him. I'm wrecking his ride. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy Dude, out. Dude, I'm trying. This car only goes so quick. Like, look. Oh, I can't get him. Oh, you bastard. Stop the damn car. God damn it, Cole. Hold it steady. Whoa. He crashed. Go! Stop! Gabriel Delgado, you're under arrest for Grand Theft Auto. Fuck you, puto! You should speak to the maricón! Valdez, I showed him! Now who's a man? I should have burned his fucking car! You got a foreign dignitary out it as a fruit and a kitty raper, a car dealer we're gonna let slide for the kickbacks, and a street punk car thief who sure as hell won't be taking liberties with other people's autos again anytime soon. That, Detective Phelps, is not a bad haul. You keep your chin low and your hands high, and you keep bringing me clearances just like that one. That's textbook policing, and we need more of it in this department. Good sign. We still got the fiver. Even though we got some vehicle damage, we still got five stars because, well, you had to. It was part of the story to kind of hit him. So, whoo, I remember that. Bit of city damage, 10 bucks worth. But if still five stars, that's the important bit. So, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this one, the console's car. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media. Those will be down below in the description and I'll play at the end card of this video. If you're interested, you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, there's a link to my spreadsheet shop in the description as well. Thank you guys so much again. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. I'll be seeing you soon for more content. But until then, let's hand things over to Noxell. Have a good one, guys. Who's the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, don't need violent and hit you. 8,000. Wait a minute, hold that style. It's now Dan. Goddamn, Billy Jack. We still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens, sea shots flying. So we driving fire back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Hood up, and I see them haters. Try to run with us, they don't need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard, just like the beta players. Grab your respirators. Night invaders get life savored. Mass on for the shooters. Move like trash. Bed intruder got that Glock and got them woofers. Just press play, I'll keep it moving. Who is Knox? Still, you damn fools. Keep it fresh like canned food. There ain't nothing we can't do, so tune into that damn kill. Yeah, it was never.
never, ever again.